Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Good morning, second grade. Happy Wednesday. My name is Mrs. Bang, and I'm so excited to have you here with me so that we can become amazing readers and writers. And guess what? I know you guys are becoming amazing readers. I know. Boys and girls, I wanted to share some of my favorite books that I love reading to my class and or to other classrooms. Um, and so this week I'm going to be sharing some of them and today I have a book that I always took with me when I went to visit classrooms and read to them and this is a book called Smell My Foot. Isn't that funny? This is such a silly book and this book is so good with expression. Remember in Fluency we always talk about using your expression. This is a great book to practice that. So if you want to read about um, chick and brain in this book called Smell My Foot, make sure you are um, checking this book out at your county library or if you have the Sora app, you can see if you can find this book on Sora. And trust me, you will love this book if you love silly books. All right, okay, now let's see which school came in in our top five countdown on Sora. Now remember to get your school's name on our top countdown, you have to be checking out those books and you have to be reading. So today's Wednesday, so let's see which school came in in our number three spot. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's see, coming in third place is w Wilson Elementary. Good job, Wilson Elementary. You guys have been on our top countdown for many, many weeks, so I know you guys are doing an awesome job reading over there at Wilson. Keep it up, boys and girls. Awesome job. Now, just like I was sharing all my favorite books with you guys, I would love if you would write to me and tell me what your favorite book is or just a book that makes you just laugh, like, like this book that I shared earlier, Smell My Foot with Foot. This book just makes me laugh out loud. So boys and girls, I would love to hear from you. Um, use the address that you see below. You see that address? Yep, you can write to me or you can email me. Some of you guys are really good at emailing your teachers. The same thing, you use that email address and you email me and just let me know your favorite book. And once I receive your letter, I'll send you one of these fun activity books. I know, they're awesome, boys and girls. So I'm gonna wait for your letter. Hopefully I get it soon. Okay, boys and girls, are you guys ready? Awesome, let's start our lesson to make our brain super smart. So this week, we're going to be learning that. Oh, you guys heard, I, I hear some of you guys, you're right. But I wasn't going to say, because remember, first thing we need to do is we need to train that ear. And I'm glad that some of you guys are listening um, so far and know what sound that we are focusing on. Today, we're just going to practice some phoneme blending. And, that just, and that's just when I give you some sounds. You can use your arm if you need to blend them together. Guess my word. Are you ready? Awesome, okay, let's get started. Here's my first set of sounds. What's my word? If I said p-ouch, what is it? Pouch, awesome. Next word, b-r-b-r-own, what is it? Brown, good job, look how fast you guys are going. Okay, last set of sound, n-own, what is it? Noun, good job, like this week we have been learning irregular Nouns. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, did you guys hear all that sound? What's our vowel sound this week? Good job. You guys have been saying it this whole time. The owl sound. You're right. So this week we are practice, practicing and learning the owl sound. Good job. Now the owl sound, now remember, has two spelling patterns, meaning they are spelled two different ways, but they make the same sound. What sound is it? Ow, good job, right, just like when you get hurt and you say, ow, same sound. Let's spell and say the sound, ready? So, oh, you can say, ow, like in the word house, right? And O-W can say, ow, like in the word cow. Good job, boys and girls. 
Now, I have some letters here for us. Help me blend these letters together to read a word. Ready? Help me. Good. Loud. What's my word? Loud. Good reading. Okay, let's read the next set of words. Good. Ready? Oh, you guys are ready. Good. Town. What is it? Town. Good blending. You guys are so good at that. Okay, now let's build a word, right? Just like when we're writing, we need to build um, words so that we can write them. So if I said the word cloud, how would I spell that? Cloud. Segment it if you need to. Let's segment it. Ready? K loud. What is it? Cloud. Good job. Oh, and I hear some of you guys. Yep, it's very close to loud that we um, blended earlier. So if this is already here. What would I add to make it k say the word cloud? Just the k. You're right. Let's put that in. Let's read it now. K loud. Cloud. How do I spell it? C L O U D. Cloud. That's right. Good job. Okay. Let's practice building another word. Let's practice building the word crown. Crown. Segment it if you need to. Ready? K -r -own. Crown. Okay. What was the first sound? Good. It was a blend. It was that cr cr um, blend. Beginning blend. blend right? Ooh, all my words are all getting all jumbled together. Cr -ow, and it's the O W. Crown. Good job. And that n is the n. Did you notice something? Good job. Crown is very similar to town. Could I have just substituted the cr with the t to get the same word? Yes, I could have. Good eyes, boys and girls. Okay, now let's practice reading some more words with the owl sound, and let's see if you can help me sort them with the spelling pattern. Are they spelled with the O-U or the O-W? Ready? Okay. First word, sound, O-U. Good. Next word, crown. We just did that. Good job. That was the O-U, crown. Next word, cloud. We just spelled that word also, and we said it was the O-U. Next word, clown. Guess. Very similar. Yep, just substitute those two, that beginning blend, and it's a new word. Good job. Next word, brown. O W, good. I hear you. Nick, keep going. Shout. Good reading. O U. And shout. Owl. O W, good job. Next word is good reading. You guys see this? Ouch. Ouch. Good job. O U with that. Ow, sound good. How and mouse with the O U. Good reading and sorting, boys and girls. Okay, good job reading those words with the ow sound. Okay, let's go now and practice our high frequency words. Now remember, high frequency words are words that we see most frequently. So it's important for us to learn how to read and write them automatically so that we can save our brain power for those really nice long words that we have to decode. Now, yesterday, you're right, we ran out of time and we didn't get to our high frequency words. So today we have four words and I know you guys can do it. So help me read and spell the high frequency words. So we have four today. Are you ready? Okay. First word, body. Help me read it. Body. Good. Help me spell it. B-O-D-Y. Body. Good job. Next word, pretty. Help me read it. Pretty. Help me spell it. P-R-E-T-T-Y. Pretty. I know a lot of my girls love writing that word. Pretty. Okay. Next word, minutes. Read it. Minutes. So let's spell it. M-I-N-U-T-E-S. Minutes. Good. And the last one for today. Answer. Help me read it. Answer. Help me spell it. A-N-S-W-E-R. 
answer. Good job. Now it's a little bit harder because now I have four sentences for you. Help me read these four sentences and then we're going to try to figure out which one of these four words are going to go into my sentences. Now remember, if you need to, use that context clue to help you figure out which word would go into which sentence. Ready? Help me read the first sentence. The first one says, the flowers in the park are mm-hmm. Oh, some of you guys are seeing that context clue is good. Next one, Fred, Fred's mm, made a splash when he jumped in the water. Good, let's keep going. Will you mm the phone? And the last one, Dina played the drums for 30. Mm. Did you see all that context clues? Good job. So let's go to the first one. I see one. Here are the, per the flowers. And the flowers in the park are usually, you're right, pretty. I think that makes sense too. The flowers in the park are pretty. Now, let's keep going. Fred's, mm, and there was a splash when he jumped. What do you, you think that word is? Body, you're right. Fred's body made a splash when he jumped in the water. Okay, how about the next, next one? Will you, and here's my clue, what do you do to a phone? You answer the phone. Good job. Will you answer the phone? And then the last one, Dina, play the drums for, and here's my clue. There was a number, 30 what? 30 minutes. Oh my goodness, boys and girls. Lots of work. Good job. Now let's practice reading these four words plus the other six because those are our 10 words that we are practicing this week. Ready? Starting with the ones that we're, we learned today. Pretty, body, answer, minutes, heard, myself, pushed, build, bin, and head. Awesome job, boys and girls. Okay, now let's go into our structural analysis. Remember, this week we're learning with irregular plural nouns, and you're right, this is review, and lots of boys and girls really know how to do this really easily, right? Irregular plural nouns just means I'm gonna make a word meaning um, that it is more than one, I'm gonna make it plural, but the rules are, one, they change completely or they stay the same. So I have a sentence for us, ready? It says, the man saw a fish. So I want you to think of my two noun, man and fish. I want you to think, how can I change those two nouns to make it plural? Or how can I change the sentence to make it into a plural noun? So here's my picture. Oh, does that, a man saw, and I'm gonna put my pictures over here and we'll see which picture will match it. The man saw a fish. Oh, that's right, he's right here, there's one. What can I change it? Change man to men, good. And what do I change fish to? Good, you, you're right, you don't. But guess what I changed? I changed the adjective. Remember how I said the adjective describes how many? So, the men saw many fish. Did you see that? Awesome job. So fish stay the same, but I just changed my adjective. Good job, boys and girls. You guys are doing such a good job. And don't forget, boys and girls, when things get too hard, what do I say? Today, say, I will not give up. Say that to yourself. I hear you. I will not give up. Have a great day, boys and girls. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. brand new day time to learn and games to play learning things is so much fun learning is good for everyone